But they're so comfortable though. I didn't realize yeah. how comfortable they were. Well, ATs have seen one of the biggest corrections in the market. The resale value of a tag is, is a lot less than what they cost. Spring drive GMT, and I've never seen this before. So you put it on your wrist like that, and you look at the time across there like you're driving one. Have you seen one in person before? Did you see one in the gold? I saw one in the airport, yeah, in the uh, airport. a few weeks ago. Okay, there you go. So the retail price is 7,400 now. Yeah. So the deal that I sent is obviously no, a lot under retail price. Yeah. So, and it also comes with- It's got the other strap as well. Yeah, so it's got the blue strap as well, which is so easy to get on and off. So and I believe this strap is actually unworn. It was never worn with the with the original purchaser. You didn't actually put this, one, this strap on. So I've got the green one. Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah. You might like the green one, but it's obviously it's just similar to this one. You've got the nice. black one as well, haven't you? We've got the black one that I sent you. Yeah, that's what I thought that you originally wanted, but that comes on the black liver and also the black rubber. Yeah, but they're so, so nice comfortable thing. though. I didn't realise yeah. how comfortable they were. Have you got the black one as well? Yeah, just have a look at it. Just have a look at it, yeah. Here's the black. For some reason when I read your text, I thought you said black, so then I was like, well, this is the only one we have, but this comes with the rubber strap as well. Essentially, that's what this one will feel like on that kind of strap. Yeah. But this strap's new, so it hasn't really like set to a wrist before, so. Yeah. Black's nice as well. The only problem we have with these is obviously if you chip this, yeah. it's, you, you pretty much can't refurb it yeah. or get it back to obviously new, whereas this is stainless steel, so of course. No, definitely the silver. It's perfect, I'll take yeah. it. I knew okay. as soon as I came in. Yeah. <laughs> Are I've been looking like online. You've got the right from uh, definitely. So it matches. Can we spot you see for the yeah. match tonight? <laughs> Try this on and we'll see what that's like. So I've took two links out. Great. I think that should be perfect, but we can always adjust it again. Yeah, that feels great. You want it any tighter? No, that's fine. Yeah, so it's still got a little play in it, so. Great, thank you and very much for that. Your full set, so there's your warranty card, 2023 dated. Uh, your little manual in here. And then you've got your class that will go, like the deployment that will go on the leather strap. Okay, thank you as always. No problem at all. Two watches that we've been quite excited to see. I've never seen either of them before. That is just cool. We've had a couple of blue and red ones. Oh. We've never seen the green. That's immaculate, so. Yeah, I've actually wore it to go out the factory and then oh. put it in the box. Brand new and it's cool. Is it a competition that you entered? Yeah, so I entered in, I got so a competition, you just, you, you put your name down to see if you're going to give them the money, and then you picked out, I think it's 2800 or 2500 and I went to get it, and actually the experience of picking it up put me off the watch. So, so as far as I'm aware though, they made a, a limited number of those watches, right? And yeah. there was three colours? Yeah, so there was a blue one or a white and blue one that went out to people who'd bought MBNF machines before. Mm -hmm. Then there was a red one, which was really limited, like a thousand or something. And right. then there was the first batch of green, which is maybe two and a half thousand, three thousand. And then a further batch of green with a four leaf clover on the, the uh, crown. And there's a new one coming out next week that's with some, uh, I think, Swiss or French act, uh, artist. So you put it on your wrist like that. Yeah. And you look at the time across there like you're driving much. Yeah. So you would look at it. Right. Does that make sense? So could you so, say right? So that's where the time is on the side, see. and obviously the movements on there. So that's the cool bit that you can it see. Like and you flick it, although you know you yeah, should get this. Did you see that one? We've had a few red before, one or two blue, and they've never hung around for long. And then it's the type of watch that once it has sold, you'll get people ringing up asking if we have any. So mm. this is a brand that we seem to be seeing more of, and I've never seen this before. This is like a Spring drive GMT. It's got like a texture dial. You'll you'll get it better when you take some pictures. Open case back. Again, have you had this long? Since twenty twenty two. So April twenty two, I think I got that. Does this one have a nickname? I know a lot of the brands. Oh, yes. I think I'm gonna get it wrong. I think it's Scoville or Scovla or something like that. Right. Okay. There was a spring drive chronograph GMT and that one that came out at the same time. Got yeah. the winter watches. And can you still buy this watch? Mm, maybe if you went to the boutique, they might have one left. I'm not right. sure, but there was only, I think, 1,500 of them. Right, probably. okay. So these are made in Japan, and it's like almost like clouds on that one, but it's it's very similar to the Snowflake yeah. as well when you look at it. It's a bigger watch, and I think it's more of a sports watch than the, the Snowflake. And it's got like a, a shiny blue colour on the bezel. So we'll leave them there. What are your thoughts? Okay, probably gonna go for the deep sea. 
I actually have quite a few uh, Omega, big Omega dive watches that I quite like. Right. So this is kind of, it feels kind of a, a more normal size for me. Right. But I just kind of like the idea of going back to, to this. To be honest, I sold a, a GMT Master 2 black bezel and bought those with the money that I'd made on that. So like, I'm kind of keen just to, I've tried it. Yeah, the Sea Dweller range has evolved quite a long way, hasn't it? Coming yeah, from something like that to something deep like, sea. Yeah. Did you have much interest when they were on Chrono? Oh, the mad one. Like, like, it was a total faff. Like, not to diss them, but it, I'm not doing that again. So, our deep sea is 9,750. Mm -hmm. The Grand Seiko is, uh, we would allow 3,500. Mm -hmm. For the MBNF, we would allow 3,250. So the balance is 2,950. Absolutely fine, yeah. Okay. So we've got a customer in today. He's brought in a beautiful Rolex 278-273, which is a 31mm Roman numeral with the diamond number six. It's got a lovely dial out, it's so it's, it, it, it's a different colour to the mint green. Yes, it's more of an, an olive green, I would say. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit darker, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 31mm, which is a popular size at the moment. Jubilee bracelet by what's, metal. So what's the list on this watch at the minute from Rolex? So list price, Harry, is £11,350. It's not a watch we see very often at all. What we tend to find with ladies' watches is when, when they buy them, they keep them, unlike men, who like to part exchange and swap watches and oh. stuff. So I'm just going to do a little bit of research now to see what we can offer the gentleman on consignment. I was in the Rolex shop last week and I had about eight different watches for sale. Because there's a gold soap as well and the black dial, the solid gold yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, I've just sold a yellow gold one, Ooh. blue dial for way under 30 grand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then what, 35-ish? 34-something. 34 34-something, the white gold one's 36 and a bit. Yeah. I'm just going to ask Jack. Jack. What do you think? I'm While I'm here, could I check out 41 mil Royal Oak? Well, APs have seen one of the biggest corrections in the market from but, two years ago. But AP's very strong now again, no? Yes, yeah. 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 I think AP's been very popular at the start think, of this year. Think... Well, I've got a 2024 one here on Chrono in the UK. Oh. 13,750. Okay. I was hoping to get 12 out of it on consignment. Like. We'll put on for that now again. Worked with you, it's very slightly below, but we, we can... Do it at 12. Yeah. So, thank you very much. So unfortunately, like with me bid, um, the resale value of a tag is, is a lot less than what they cost. We we were paying £900 for the watch. If you wanted us to sell it for you, then we would get like £200 more. But obviously that might take a little while. Nah, it's take the 900 me, I just want rid of it. Okay. Get shot. <laughs> but we would have it polished mm. and advertise it with a view to selling it for like £1,500. Right, guys you know what time it is it is time for the deal of the week and this week we have an Omega watch this watch is a Speedmaster but not just any Speedmaster it is a dark side of the moon this is a gray side of the moon with the gray dial it features a ceramic case an 18 carat Sedna gold or rose gold bezel and it has a matte gray dial it houses the Omega 9300 movement, which is an automatic movement with a 60 hour power reserve. And it comes on a leather strap with a ceramic buckle. Now, this watch is a 2021 watch. And on the tag here, I can see that in 2021, this watch cost 14,100 euros. Now in the UK today in 2024, the retail price for this watch is £15,500. Now, the watch itself, it has been worn, but it is in very good condition. The ceramic case is very durable. It doesn't pick up scratches like a steel watch does. It's, it's much more scratch resistant. The box itself comes with the instructions. It's still got a cleaning cloth in the packet here, uh, the warranty cards. And the only thing I will mention is on the box, there is a tiny bit of damage there, but nothing too much to worry about. You're not going to wear the box anyway. Now, the watch itself, I will say, condition-wise, very good. There are some very minor dings on the bezel, um, but other than that, the bezel insert, I believe, is ceramic as well, and then it has a sapphire crystal. It also has a 
uh, open sapphire case back so you can see that amazing movement inside. Now, this watch is online for £8,750, but Jack has told me that the deal of the week price can be £7,450. So it's a significant saving and the next owner will be getting this watch at quite a bargain. To claim the discount, head over to watchtrader.co.uk. If you search the number 6324, find the product, add it to the basket, and then enter the discount code YouTube6324 to apply the discount. That's this week's Deal of the Week.